Thomas, it's Malcolm. How are you doing? Is the investigation going well? It's going as well as it can be. Wait, what are you doing here? How did you know where to find me? Oh, just a coincidence. Saw you from across the street. Coincidence? I don't know what your game is here, Van Horn, but I've got a job to do, if you'll excuse me.
it for you! Thomas speaking. Thomas, I just wanted to make sure you met me out front when we were done. I didn't want to interfere with the investigation, but... <laughs>
transfer data when ready. Blood type still a match. This is Tibbet's trail. The trail just ends at a bank of lockers. Thomas, have you looked inside? Hmm. I believe you found Mr. Tibbetts. Image seems to match personnel file. It didn't come through properly, though. Can you take a close-up? Help is on the way. Who did this to you? Carl Anderson. The torturer. Okay, take it easy. Do you know where he is now? Other man can to Carl away. Let me to die. Rosa, send an EMT immediately. Uh, cancel. Uh, Two points of note. DNA taken from the hair matches current profile we've established for the guy who's been stalking you. The guy we're calling Serial Killer X. Also, there are some additional organophosphate particles present. Similar to the pesticide we found on the matchmaker's neck? An exact match. I've been running an analysis on those samples. It's azenfos methyl and is class one, highly toxic. Was previously used as an insecticide for all sorts of agricultural crops, now banned for domestic use, and can only be used commercially by permission. This particular formulation includes some other trace chemicals and can be matched to a brand name called Applewell. I've put in a contact to the company to see if we can get a purchaser's list. Applewell. Apples. Yes, as I said, it was used on all sorts of agricultural crops. Apples would be one of those. Yeah, the town of Briar is pretty rural. Any chances there's an apple orchard up there? I'll get right on it.
got it. There are no currently licensed fruit orchards in the town or the surrounding countryside of Briar. But there was one once. Apple Seed Orchard, just outside of Briar on Route 4. In business for 40 years, but closed its doors just 10 years ago after a tremendous outbreak of apple maggots. The orchard never recovered. Curious, though. County deeds show it's owned by an out-of-state real estate firm.